Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are taking a look at the brand new SnowRunner DLC that just released. Um, this is actually coming the day after it released um, but I couldn't download it in time to make a video yesterday so the video is coming today but anyway uh, we are now in the brand new SnowRunner update and we're actually in a brand new garage as well I mean it doesn't look like it because all the garage is the same but if I open up the local map here you can see we are in the Kola Peninsula of Russia in Lake Kovd and if I zoom out yeah, it's completely black. There are three watch points to go and discover. I don't know how big this map is, obviously, because I can't even see any of it. And the reason that it's completely black like this is because of one of the brand new um, trailers or like features in the game, which we're going to get into in just a little bit. Um, but just to run through a couple of the new features of this update, obviously, we've got a new map. We've got two new vehicles, the Ford F750 and also the TUZ, um, both really cool vehicles, uh, we're going to be checking those out later on the channel, and um, we also have a new loading screen, uh, when you boot up the game it has a brand new cover screen there, which looks absolutely beautiful I do have to say. Um, I believe there is also some new um, like sky lighting as well so you know the the northern lights basically um, I believe that is new as well which will be really cool there is you can also now fall through the ice which was something that you couldn't previously do um, so if you're not careful when you're driving on the ice you can actually fall through it so not such a great thing but it is nice to see some more realistic um, physics just like that and I think there's a bunch of other things that I've forgotten uh, but I guess we'll discover some of those as we go through the main objective of Lake Kovd is to rescue a World War II bomber uh, so that is what we're going to be doing over the next couple of episodes. Um, we're going to do like a mini series within our SnowRunner Let's Play um, in Lake Kovd. But today I thought we'd just go out and see what we can check out on the map. See if we can possibly get the three watchtowers. Just see if we can uncloak a bit of the map so we can actually see what we're doing. So back in the garage again. Um, we need a good vehicle to go exploring in. Now, um, I have a bunch of trucks here that are absolutely awesome. Um, they're v well, they're all vehicles that we've checked out in previous episodes on the series. So if you wanted to watch some gameplay of any of these vehicles, then you can go and check the SnowRunner playlist that I will link in the description. Um, but I honestly don't know what vehicle to use today. Shall we have a look on the truck store and see if there is a vehicle that springs to mind that would possibly be good for exploring the snowy regions. Um, so, what do we think? I think I own this little Don 71 right here. It's a neat, neat little car and we haven't customised it yet. So how about we go and customize that? Let's get it out of the storage. Um, it's probably going to be right at the bottom because I've not used it yet. Um, yes, there it is. It's absolutely tiny, but it's an awesome little vehicle. And I think it will be quite good in the snow. So let's have a look what customization we can do with this thing. So we have got some better engines. Uh, this ooh okay so this is the standard engine we can get the KR120 AT and that increases the power to weight massively so let's put that in the gearbox um, we'll put the snow runner gearbox in because we're going to be in the snow the suspension we can actually get 
really really raised suspension on this thing but unfortunately I have not unlocked either of those yet um, but the the standard suspension actually doesn't look too bad it's pretty raised off the ground so um, I think we should be okay um, let's put some snow running tires on this thing you can fit massive wheels to this that's absolutely hilarious um, but we're going to want some chained tyres which are right down at the bottom, I have to scroll all the way down, there we go, they're the ones we want. Uh, let's put those on the vehicle, the winch, um, I really don't know what winch we want to put on this, I'm actually going to put the autonomous scout on um, just in case we do flip over, I don't know how horrible this uh, map is going to be so we'll put that in the thing uh, we can get a spare wheel which is actually just in the boot so we might as well throw that in there um, we can get a small roof rack or we can get a large roof rack I feel like the large roof rack is probably going to be more useful um, it has more fuel it has another spare tire and some repair points so we'll throw that in there the diff lock um, we have engageable diff lock a snorkel we can have the flat cap or the tall front facing the flat cap actually does look a bit more neat on this vehicle so we'll put that on there uh, in miscellaneous we have got a round beacon but that does remove the roof rack we've got twin horns which are just on the side there we've got external horns which is also just on the side we've got the side pipe thresholds and we've got the sun visor with beacons but doesn't really suit this vehicle so we'll leave that off on the rear bumper we can have the double pipe we can have tow loops we can have police pursuit or we can have the stock one um see that looks a bit bulbous uh but that one looks a bit strange and i don't really like the pipe one i'm gonna go with tow loops i think i think that's the best looking one the stock looks a bit weird as well um on the roof we can fit ro um roof fog lights or roof fog lights with beacons but oh i think that might be a glitch um anyway um but that does remove our roof rack so we'll not put those on there we do have those roof fog lights up there as you can see um on the front bumper we can have the winch pipe the light cage the polymer the heavy duty pipe or the stock i actually think that first one the winch pipe yeah that looks pretty it's pretty neat um it doesn't look too out there and it does expose the winch which is quite cool the rims we can have those or those I don't really like either of these but these look better they don't look good but they look better in paint options we can have brown and beige we can have orange and black we can have white and blue we can have red and white or we can have the stock um, sort of sea green and white I guess you would call that um, but I feel like a solid colour with this vehicle I don't really know what colour would look good we can have brown, orange actually the orange does look pretty cool it kind of reminds me of um, Jeremy Clarkson's Mark 1 Golf that he, uh, he painted orange looks kind of similar to that um, what other colours have we got here um we could go for red but honestly i think the orange does look pretty cool and there we go that is the thing fully customized so let's now jump into lake Covd and have a look at what we can do okay so we are outside in lake Covd for the very very first time um we've got all-wheel drive and diff lock in this thing we have got the um the snow running tires on there and we've got the snow running gearbox um what is this then okay so it's self-contained antique a friend who works at the power plant spotted an old tuz nearby the guy knows the history well so he says um so he says there used to be 
uh, he used to drive it an officer during the war what would he say if he towed the tuz right to his workshop so that's a mission that you can go and do I'm not going to do that right now but that is a mission that you can go and do if you so choose um, this thing does smoke quite a lot I will point that out it does look pretty cool though it's kind of like a Russian knockoff version of a Mark 1 Golf it's the vibes I'm getting with this um, where is the there must be a trailer storage somewhere Okay, so apparently um, the SnowRunner devs have decided to be a bit mean with this map and they've decided not to give us a trailer store at the garage. Unless I'm completely blind, I haven't been able to find one. So, we're going to go exploring without a trailer for the moment. Um, we're going to go and see which watchtowers we can get. They're all fairly close to the garage and the first one that I think we might as well go and get is this one this is the closest one right here looks like we just want to turn left and then right and it's basically just there I feel like this road might just lead us to there right so I always do like a little review of the vehicle uh, that we are driving whilst we're completing our other task and I have to say um, the Don here I believe that's what it was called I've mentioned that it looks absolutely incredible but this thing is a bit of a shitbox I'm not gonna lie I was trying to think of a politer way of saying it but there is no getting around the fact that it is a bit of a shit vehicle um, it's very very underpowered even though we put that upgraded engine in it does seem very underpowered um, I think with the lift kit on it might be a bit top heavy um, so at the moment it's okay um, I've had no problem with ground clearance um, some bigger wheels would have been a bit nicer but you can only get them with the lift kit um, but it is very tippy obviously I've got the roof rack on but yeah let's go for some low range there can I recommend the Dom to you um, if you're starting out the game maybe you're in Michigan and you're looking for just a cheap scout vehicle with some decent customization and that smokes a lot then I could probably recommend it to you if like myself you are a um, longer time player of snow runner then there is in fact a lot better scout vehicles that you could use I mean a couple of episodes ago we went and explored the rift in the Lodestar and that was an absolutely incredible vehicle uh, right at the very start of this let's play series we went um, off-road exploring in the Hummer that thing was absolutely incredible the APC that's another brilliant uh, little off-roader um, there are much better scout vehicles than the Don however it's what we're working with today so I'm gonna stop complaining about it we're gonna see if we can at least get these three watchtowers in the Don and maybe in the next episode we'll hop into something else and there we go watchtower has been discovered let's go and launch the observation that looks absolutely incredible this brand new map does look really cool other than um, the Alaska maps which is obviously in America we haven't been able to travel to any other snowy regions so um, it's nice that we can now travel to a snowy region in Russia as well and I have a feeling that they're going to add more maps to this region later on which will be absolutely awesome I can't wait to see some more maps in the game because we have pretty much explored nearly all of the maps now um, in this let's play series so it's always nice to get a new map it's something fresh 
to the game and it's also something new for me to show you guys and as I say that let's go ahead and refuel this thing how much does the roof rack hold 40 liters so we've basically got enough to refuel the thing once I don't think that's going to be enough to get the other two watch points but anyway um, where are we we're up here okay I think if we stick on this road we will get to that other watchtower now will we run out of fuel before then probably yes but we have now uncloaked a bit of the map which is nice it is also turning night time now so that will be a nice chance to see if we're gonna see any of the northern lights um, usually I skip the night time for filming purposes because it's quite hard to see in the dark at night time it's just easier to film it in the daytime obviously for me playing the game and also for you watching but part of this new map is actually the new northern lights so if we can show them off in this video then I will do I feel like the Dom was not the best choice for exploring this new map I'm gonna be honest I know I'm complaining about this thing a lot but if you guys haven't tried this vehicle yet get it out and take it to this map and you'll see what I mean it is absolutely rubbish okay it's just started turning almost night time and you can just see in the sky there if the camera would just behave um, I can't really point the camera upwards too much but you can see the northern lights they are um, well they're visible they look really beautiful it's a shame that I can't point the camera up a bit more so I can show you properly uh, unfortunately that isn't the case but it does look absolutely incredible and uh, it actually reminds me a bit of the Fortune Island expansion for I think it was Forza Horizon 3 I could be wrong one of the Forza Horizons anyway it got the Northern Lights added to one of the DLC maps and now we have it in SnowRunner as well and it looks absolutely awesome I'm, uh, I'm really happy that they've added that it's a nice little feature and it actually makes you want to play at night time because you want to see the northern lights so I think we'll just stick in the dark for now because it looks absolutely beautiful and if I get fed up with it then we can always uh, go ahead and skip to the daytime anyway we are here at the fuel station let's go and fuel the Don up and we'll fuel the roof rack up but just behind me here I think I have spotted a fuel trailer don't know if this is one we can tow with us I bloody hope it is please say we can tow this okay right we have now we've got a fuel trailer so hopefully fuel running out issues well fuel running out shouldn't be an issue is what I'm trying to say I feel like we want to carry on on this main road and I think that loops round here and then I think we want to turn right down here and that will lead us to our next watchtower right there oh we've actually got a lovely bit of tarmac here so this appears to be the main road um, the other thing that's quite nice obviously we're in a new region um, but we actually have a garage on this map so if we do get stuck we can at least recover to the garage which um, I believe this map is supposed to be quite difficult so it's supposed to be quite a punishing map um, which we have seen so far although we aren't in the best vehicle um, but it is supposed to be quite a difficult map to transverse to traverse I don't know how you say that oh we can see the northern lights a bit better let me turn my lights off so we can actually see the northern light it looks absolutely beautiful they actually flicker a bit as well that's absolutely incredible that's really really beautiful 
one of the other new features that I forgot to mention was a new soundtrack so um, we have got a brand new soundtrack in the background of the game which you may or may not have noticed by now and it's morning again we've got some lovely blue sky going on um, as beautiful as the northern lights were it was making it a little bit difficult to see where the hell I was going so unfortunately we have to uh, go back to the daytime and I've kind of discovered the reason why this thing snakes so much it's not because I'm a bad driver and it's not because I'm drunk currently it's to do with the fact that if you actually look how this thing is sitting the back end of this thing is almost slammed and the front end of this thing is well it's jacked up a lot higher than the back and I think it's because of the roof rack the roof rack is putting a lot of weight on the back wheels which is lifting the front wheels up so it's making the steering very light so it's effectively pulling a wheelie but the wheels are still on the ground if that makes any sense right this is the turning that we want to be taking um, we can now actually see where that watchtower is it's in the middle of nowhere I don't know where this road leads to whether it comes around here or not but there is like a little clear path through here so we'll take this turning anyway and see if we can get that one thank god we've got a load of fuel because um, we'd be having some issues if we didn't there is the watchtower ahead of us peeking through the trees we're really not that far away from it now um, he says but um, we still have to get up this we still have to get up this uh, mountain right we're on the rocks come on that's it okay we're onto these rocks thank god for that plop off the back there we're probably going to get completely stuck now we're probably never going to get out of here but we have at least discovered another watch point let's go and launch the observation absolutely incredible this map does look really good i have to say that at least and we have one more watchtower to go and discover we are also running very low on fuel once again that is why i brought the fuel trailer with us um i'm gonna go to the left and round this rock in front of us i feel like we're gonna get stuck on this rock here aren't we I think we're just completely stuck there. Uh, we're stuck on that rock is the issue. Right, we've got three of that area. I'm gonna see if we can um hmm, I don't know I don't know which other way we can go though, that's the issue. There's there's a bit of a there's a there's a lack of routes that you can take down this mountain yeah we're also going to get stuck on that rock there um at this point i have completely given up so we're going to recover this to the garage we're then going to retain the vehicle go to storage and sell the don because i do not like that vehicle um for those of you who are yelling at me in the comment section right now saying oh no the don is a great vehicle frankly you can all go tell because i really don't like that vehicle it's the only vehicle in this let's play series so far that i've actually not wanted to continue driving some of the other vehicles have struggled but um out of faithfulness to them i've wanted to continue and see if they can get the other watchtowers we did get two in the don but it's just way too frustrating so we're going to swap to something a little bit nicer something that can at least go and get the last watchtower for us and 
I have no idea where it is. There it is, the APC. We know this thing isn't going to have any issues. We saw in uh, the Drummond Island exploration episode, this thing is absolutely incredible. Yeah, hopefully this thing will um, at least get the last watchtower. It was incredible in Drummond Island. Admittedly, there was no snow there, but I feel like this thing should be okay with snow. Uh, now, we do have to cross that ice patch in a moment. Um, so, yeah, we basically continue down here. And then we want to cross here. This looks thin here. I, I don't know how to tell whether we're going to go through the ice or not. But this to me looks like thin ice so we may have to go around that I'm gonna mark the last watchtower obviously I can't see where there's any roads here the only road I can see is this one here um, so we'll just get onto the ice first and then worry about that now onto the ice I'm gonna just go steady yep there we go we've gone straight through the ice already now I don't know if a bit of speed will help or not I feel like it's not and I also don't want to get stuck so I'm gonna back it up if the APC is struggling then you know it's difficult terrain um, I don't know how to tell what is thick and what is not so I'm just gonna go slowly until I hear cracking noises that's absolutely terrifying um, I would just boot it but I don't want to get stuck in the middle of a lake um, you know what let's just do it let's go for it okay that may may not have been the greatest plan in the world can we reverse it out if I can get this thing out of here that would be an absolute miracle unfortunately I think we may we may have got the APC stuck that is how bad this map is we asked oh 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 cracking noises don't make this any better for me okay and there we go that is the hole that we have just dug in the APC this thing is incredibly enough to have actually crossed this well this horrible ice and I also got to show you guys the brand new um, ice cracking feature which is a bit of a brown trouser maker um, it's cool and all. It, it, I love um, realism in games like this. Um, I'm all for it. It adds a bit uh, more realism to the game. However, when you do get something stuck in it, it's not that fun. This is the hardest part, is navigating through tree lines. Because the APC, while it is a scout vehicle, is actually quite large. It's up there with some of these smaller semi-trucks. Uh, for width, at least. Uh, but anyway, we are going to get to the last watchtower. Let's go ahead and launch the observation. That is a tiny little watchtower. However, we've discovered a warehouse of some sort over here. I've got absolutely no idea what that is. It's some sort of warehouse. We haven't actually discovered the whole map and I can't actually show you that in this video um, because we need to find this. There's like a little radar trailer. It's called a mobile watchtower and basically it acts like a watchtower. You tow it into the middle of an area and you can go and discover it. And it was basically designed to explore this map so that's going to do it for this video this is going to be part one to our mini series on lake covd if you have enjoyed then i would appreciate you dropping a like 
and if you're new to the channel then welcome and consider subscribing because I do post content very often uh, unfortunately I can't say it's daily at the moment I am working four shifts a week so getting videos out is not always that easy I try and get at least two out every week um, if any new content pops up I will of course cover that right away just like I have today uh, we are going to be continuing our Lake Coved exploration in the next episode so if that's something that you're interested in then do consider subscribing but that is going to do it for the video guys thank you all so much for watching hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you all next time